Mirko and everyone, welcome back to more adventures in Cyrodo with Felagar. Well, I also wanted to I also wanted to quickly preface that uh, the mods that I am using, uh, I'm using maybe about seven of them, um, including the script extender. Uh, one, and I'd like to give a shout out because I didn't know he died uh, when I downloaded it at the time, but uh, I think you pronounce it uh, Quarles. Quarles uh, Texture Pack 3 is one of the mods I'm using, and that makes the overall um, graphics, you know, and textures of the world rocks, uh, the stones grass, uh, furniture, texture, uh, certain pieces of clothing and weaponry, just every aspect of the game, you know, outside in the world. Uh, it doesn't cover everything, but it covers a lot, I think, uh, but it makes it uh, better. Uh, and I'm using one that makes up the heads of, uh, you know, the NPCs and uh, player character not look so potato uh, and I'm also using one called Oblivion's character overhaul so you know there's there's a few more but uh, maybe I'll, I'll make a video you know showcasing which ones I use but I think I might be happy with this face I think it's okay I don't know if I should lower the the mouth from the nose but I actually think maybe it's okay so I'll turn off my torch oh, well, actually I'll turn it on for this Preparing the orrery, I've discovered a note from Bothiel at Arcane University. Yes, this is. I haven't even met this person. I'm sorry, let me just... take this in. There's a sound. Holy shit, it's like... so low that you can't hear it.
over encumbered. I've always been impressed with the physics, you know, being able to lift things up like that. For some reason, I feel like the, you know, the grabbing and manipulation of items in uh, Oblivion actually is better than how they have it in Skyrim. Okay, I guess what I'm gonna do. Okay, is I'm going to head up. To Imperial City to the marketplace sell off the things that I'm not using for a bit of coin and also to lighten my burden then I will start heading toward uh, pick up my horse armor or maybe I'll get the free I'll save that until I get the free horse from a certain someone that I'm gonna meet as if I can run indefinitely, right? the carafe, the silver carafe or the golden carafe, gilded carafe. The Go best defense. In. That's me, Morrow Rufus. Light armor. The very best. So it looks like, sounds like the ambient uh, speaking might be considered sound effects. So I can actually just look at that a little bit. Was this Go this ahead. Raid? Yeah. That's a bit... Ick. I won't fight you. Don't be silly. You win this one. That's really funny. Blah, blah, blah. What a bore. Won't fight you. You're but I'd like that. Don't be silly.
That's a bit excessive. Your where'd you? I can't argue with that. You win this one. Was that supposed to be a compliment? Blah. Oh, that's great. That's really too much. That's a bit excessive. You've got a point. Don't make... That's really funny. Don't... That's great. That's... You've got a point. Don't be silly. I won't fight you. Blah. Yeah. That's great! How's it go again? You want to make sure the fullest pie is on the sec <clears throat> section where he likes it the most, you know? There's two, like, bad ones and then two good ones. I won't fight you. I'm. You're a big. Where'd you get that? That's good. You're a. I doubt you. You win. I'd like that. A lot. That's. Re don't make. Don't. That's enough. That's good. Let's do business. Uh, was that selling or what is it? Oh, that's repair. Let's do business. Purchasing, what is that? This is selling. Now I know that if I sell this, you know, one by one, it will increase my mercantile quicker, but I will not be doing that. Okay, yeah, let's haggle a bit. Hope that's okay. You drive a hard. Transaction. No deal. Yeah. Push my luck. Appreciate your business. And the faces look really, really good. I really Fine. like that. I bid thee farewell. I think this is the place for soldiers. <clears throat> I have everything for the budding alchemist under one roof. Far yeah. more than Thorinir would ever have, despite his horrid business ethics. I offer the finest goods and lowest ah, prices right. in all Cyrodiil. Potions. Well, I know where I can get free ones of, of these, um, you know, um, mortar and pestle and Alembics and retorts. Okay. Go ahead.
Whatever. Good one. Don't. I doubt you really mean that. Don't make me laugh. Don't. Don't. That's pretty good. Don't be. You're a big good. Don't, please. I'm sorry. Don't. I doubt you really mean that. No. That's pretty good. You're f I doubt you really mean that. No. Not bad. Not bad at all. Don't. I doubt you. Don't. Good one. Don't be silly. Don't make me laugh. Not bad. Not. No more. You're frightening me. I accept. I have no choice. Don't be silly. Yeah, you're pathetic. You're a big fat liar. I doubt you really mean that. Don't. Be yeah, I get it. Good enough. Raise it by a few points, I believe. I offer the finest goods and lowest prices in all Cyrodiil. Another satisfied customer. Good day. Very well. Hi there. We go on in. I can't remember when I joined a mages guild. Do I get? Free robes or not. You've come to divine elegance because you care about what you wear. And Pelineria has what you want, or no one has. It is a whole different ball game looking like this, you know, the faces, the graphics. But at the same time, not really a whole different ball game because it's still, as I said, you know, it's it's still very familiar keeping the vanilla, but a whole different ball game in terms of uh, the faces for one being normal looking. Um, and very quickly, just I mean, you can see how it gets like low res a bit when you come close to the walls, right? That's fine, but you know when you're a reasonable distance away and you're not really looking for it the graphics look sharper especially objects you see so that uh, corals uh, texture pack uh, really makes a difference what do you want what can I interest you in Hmm. Yes. Okay. My disposition is maxed. Okay. I offer the finest goods and lowest price. Good to save to enchant. Perhaps there are better shoes. Okay. A pleasure to serve you.
Bye. Good. What can I do for you? Need new clothing? I have a fantastic selection. That's it. Thank you for your patronage. Be seeing you. You know, a very good staff to get, I think. It's in here. I think it was Apotheus. You're in Rindir's staffs, and I'm Rindir. I sell magical staffs. Imagine that. Let's do business. Apotheus. It's really good. It has 12 uses, but and I think it's... Caught, oh! Costs a uh, hefty sum to just... You know, recharge it. Okay, I do have a feeling I get these uh, Mage Guild robes, so I will save the coin. Because discount spell. Edgar Votrine, you don't want the very best, you want cheap. And I got cheap. I prefer a, a nice balance. Have a look at my wares. Let us see I'm what sure you have. something to suit you. East Burden, also very good. Summon Scamp. I'm listening. I find it easier to detect. You know what they like in the facial expressions with this mod. So, what? Yes, that's pretty good. I doubt it. What not? Whatever. Yeah, I get it. I doubt it. Whatever you want. Don't w Yeah, I get it. Good enough. I offer the finest goods. Another satis. Farewell, Edgar. things I loved about this game, still love about it, is how like quick pace it is. I keep wanting to press M for the map and it's just Alt-Tab. It's just Tab, not Alt-Tab. I'm saying Alt-Tab. All it is is Tab. I will hold on to my voucher to look at that. So there's the stable. And once again, we will look at read that dear patron or dear reader but I think patron would have been a better word for it in celebration of the launch of our new boarding services we're offering a free set of horse armor to the bearer of this letter 
to retrieve your reward, bring your favorite horse along with this notice to Chestnut Handy Stables outside of Imperial City. Help us spread the word about our new horse armor services. Chestnut Handy, because you can't afford it not to protect your horse. Signed, Snack Grabera, owner, Chestnut Handy Stables. I think, doesn't she have like a, a problem with uh, eating the horses or something like that? I thought... It might not be her. I remember when Horse Armor first came out as one of the DLC. Everyone was complaining. I think they were selling it for like 400 uh, credits, which I think equates to about 4 or $5. Uh, I can see why they would get mad. But, you know, it, it was like a new thing. So they weren't really sure about pricing and how the public would react to something like that. So I understand both sides why that could kind of piss off, you know, fans, but at the same time, Bethesda trying to find a way to, you know, make more money, you know, as if they needed more at this time, but I think they're already doing, you know, very well, but, you know, all companies want to make more. Now, I remember one time when I made an assassin character. This was back, you know, 2006, 2007. I killed the person here in this house. You know, and e even during that time, I had a notebook. And I would actually write up my journal, which, like I said, that review, that UK magazine, where they did a review of the game in a... Uh, you know, a journal format uh, inspired me to make it that way. Coral, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oops. that with the draw distance. It's all pretty high. Is this... Oh, okay, that's how you do it. T, if you want to rest or loiter. Is there an auto run? Auto move, okay. Which is Q, but I like that to be V. I'm used to... Oh. I'm used to V, you know. hold the block down, you shoot the spells off faster, because look. Right. Now watch, when I hold the block down. It's 
slightly quicker. Oh, again, I am pushing M for map. I'll show you here. Okay, versus. See? Because you can hold it down in the middle of, uh, you know, firing. So, again, I'm not holding down block. I'm going to hold down block now. See, I'm going to let go of the block. See. It's, you know, like a split second to a second, but that makes a difference. I'm just passing by. But you know, when it comes to the gameplay and the leveling up in Oblivion, I feel like everything feels very organic. How you go about things, you know. Aside from, you know, those DLC quests just suddenly appearing, you know, in my quest log, I feel like, um, you know, the way you level up, the way you come across quests, you know, from just idle conversation from eavesdropping on the people or inquiring you know about uh, something when speaking to an NPC uh, using your abilities your money oh. or your life you know to you know to level up it just all feels so organic and I think oblivion really captures that uh, and in some ways I feel like it, it captures it a little bit better at least uh, the way it feels you know, then, then uh, Skyrim. Uh, I will not be paying that. Actually, that's the way this one prefers it. It's a very gloomy night. Another, th another thing I really like about Oblivion is, you can't really tell so now, but especially you know, on a clear day or just a nicer day when it's not uh, raining. Uh, the world of Oblivion, or Cyrodiil rather, uh, looks much more fairy tale like, a lot more fantastical, you know, than uh, something like a Skyrim. You know, whereas Marwyn had more of an alien look to the landscape. This one has more of a fairy tale, high fantasy look to it. And Skyrim has just more of that gritty Viking look. But I do like this, you know, fantasy look that this one has. This one seems to be uh, more well rounded in the, uh, 
the, the weather and the, the climate. You know, you have the northern part here, Bruma, where it's all snowy, you know, around this region. Here is more of like a uh, spring, summer look. And as we get down lower, it has more of a fall kind of look to it. Now, yeah, Oblivion actually has that too, but for the most part, it's it favors, you know, the this, this snowy cold climate being Skyrim. I've arrived at Wine and Priory. Now I must take the Amulet of Kings to Joffrey. Yep. Can I turn off those uh, quest markers? That is okay. Yes? May Can I help in. you? Yes, Father. I must speak to Joffrey. It is urgent. He's upstairs. Go ahead. I've heard of rumor that a strange doorway has appeared on a small island in the Nibbin Bay. I should investigate. That would be uh, Shivering Isles. Art thou Joffrey? I'm Brother Joffrey. What do you want? I was sent by the Emperor. He told me to seek you out. Emperor Uriel? Do you know something about his death? Indeed I do. I was there when he died. Assassinated, rather. You'd better explain yourself. Now. I just did. He entrusted me with his Amulet of Kings. You brought me the Amulet of Kings? This cannot be. Let me see it. Take it, take it. By the Nine, this is the Amulet of Kings. Who are you? How did you get this? What do you know of the Emperor's death? Uh, I am Felagar, a Breton mage. And, and I proceed to tell him, you know, the current events. As unlikely as your story sounds, I believe you. Only the strange destiny of Uriel Septim could have brought you to me carrying the Amulet of Kings. What does it mean, precisely, when the Emperor, uh, you know, one of his last words were to close the shut, or to close, shut the jaws of oblivion? His meaning is unclear to me as well. The Emperor seemed to perceive some threat from the demonic world of oblivion. The Prince of Destruction, Merun's Dagon, is one of the Lords of Oblivion. Mm. But the mortal world is protected from the Daedra of Oblivion by magical barriers. I see. How can this hell world threaten us? I'm not sure. Only the Emperors truly understand the meaning behind the rituals of coronation. The mm. Amulet of Kings is ancient. Saint Alicia herself received it from the gods. It is a holy relic of great power. When an emperor is crowned, he uses the amulet to light the dragon fires at the Temple of the One in the Imperial City. With the emperor dead and no new heir crowned, the Various dragon weekend. fires in the temple will be dark for the first time in centuries. Yes. It may be that the dragon fires protected us from a threat that only the emperor was aware of. It weakened that veil. I see where this is going. 
something else of interest is he asked that I find his son I am one of the few who know of his existence hmm. many years ago I served as captain of Uriel's bodyguards the blade. yes Barris told One me night, you Uriel were... called me into his private chambers. A baby boy lay sleeping in a basket. Uriel told me to deliver him somewhere safe. So he's the best He never told me anything else about the Uriel. baby, but I knew it was his son. Mm. From time to time, he would ask about the child's progress. Mm. Now it seems that this illegitimate son is the heir to the Septim throne. Bastard son. If he yet lives. Where can I find the best a child of Uriel? His name is Martin. He serves Akatosh in the chapel in the city of Kvach, south of here. You must go to Kvach and find him at once. If the enemy is aware of his existence, as seems likely, he is in terrible danger. His life is in danger, And yes. please, let me know if there's anything you need. My resources here are limited, but I will help in any way I can. Well, what kind of assistance? I keep a few things here in my chest to resupply traveling blades. Help yeah. yourself to whatever you need. Excellent. Oh, I thank you. Your first priority now should be to find Martin and bring him back here. Sure, but um, just a couple of questions here. You know of a blades named uh, Barris? One of the youngest blades ever to serve in the Emperor's personal ah. guard. I am glad to hear that he survived, but I fear he will take the Emperor's death particularly hard. I see. What more can you tell me about this amulet of kings? It will be safest here with me. Ah. When you return with Martin, we will figure out our next move. Very well. Okay, I bid thee farewell. Waste no time. You must find Martin Indeed. before the enemy does. If I grab one of these books, would I be stealing it or will I just read it? Ah, okay. Good. To see if there are any skill books. There does not appear to be so. Uh, what do I need from here? Looks like I just need that scroll. I'll take a potion or two. Okay. Ah, wait a minute. Your first you priority now. Offer me a horse. Uh, any other way you can help me to, you know, help me with this mission? I don't have much here at hand, but you're welcome to anything you need from my chest in the reading room. Prior Maberell and Brother Piner may also be able to help. Ah, you okay. should speak well, to them right. about it if you haven't already. Yeah. Okay. 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 I remember Tell now. Us guide you. These people will offer me their horse. One of these uh, friars. One oh eight AM till I'll be sleeping. Perhaps I should sleep as well. Get an early start.
good six hours. Hopefully it has stopped raining. Look at all this. This is just all so great. You know? Now this is someone's personal letter. I better not read that. And it's still raining, of course. I'm the Make shepherd here. Eranor is the name, and this is Waylon Priory. It is good to meet the I am Felagar. Uh, Joffrey mentioned something about possibly offering me some assistance. He has sent me on a quest, you see. Well, I normally stay out of the affairs of the great folk that come through Waylon Priory to see Master Joffrey. But go ahead and take this hammer. You might ah. have use of it, and I have others. Not much call for smith work around here, in any case. Well, we both have better things to do than stand here all day exchanging idle gossip. Good day right. to you now. Good day to you as well. Funny how the rain just comes through this. I don't like that. I wonder if there's a mod that can fix that. Give me. Welcome, good citizen. I'm Brother Piner, and this is Wayne and Priory, a monastery. Can I help you? Yes. Um, I am on a quest that Joffrey himself uh, has given me. Uh, he said that I should ask for any assistance that you might possibly have. Here. Perhaps you will find this useful. One of the books I saved from my ah. blades training. You go into danger. Joffrey didn't tell us any more than that, but know that our prayers go with you. It is of a private nature. I think it's best that you not know all the details, or none at all. Goodbye. Ah. I know that you are on an important mission yes, for the blades. Heard that. Please, if you need a horse, take mine yes, from the Priory Yes, I do. I thank thee. That is very generous of you. I thank Go you. Go with Talos's blessings. Do not fail. You shall receive another blessing. Oh, okay. It still counts as a blessing for the day. Good. Well met. You have to look into that. A mod for that. Oh, very good. Ah, okay, I think here is a perfect place to end it. I'll continue the adventures uh, a bit. So I hope you guys enjoyed and see you on the next adventures.